Good afternoon, students, and welcome to our another instructional video for math. So, as requested, I'm going to do a couple of instructional videos. First, I'm going to start with our unit 3.1 and 3.2. Because they are very closely related, I'm going to teach them as one concept, so that way you can see the similarities and the differences between the two. So, in 3.1, we learn about perfect squares and square roots. And the formula that we like to um, go by is x squared equals p. p represents product, okay? In 3.2, we have a very similar formula, x cubed equals p. So um, we're talking about perfect cube and cube roots. Now let's just go over some basics of those two to help you understand and complete your assignments. Imperfect squares, we're thinking about this shape right here, the square shape. And a perfect square means that each side has the same length. So whether it's two inches on this side, two inches on this side, or four yards, four yards, and so on. In a perfect square, we kind of think in terms of area. So area, and as we know, is length times width. Okay, so length times width, perfect square means it has same um, measurements on the length side and the width side. So I'm going to use the number three to kind of help us because it's a simple number and it helps us understand. When we are looking at perfect squares or square roots, we are looking at this formula as I mentioned. So let's take a look at the number three. That is our base. And our two is our exponent. So this is our base and our exponent. And what this is saying is that we must multiply three twice. So three times three. We know it's a perfect square because the length of this side is three, the length of, length of this side is three, and we know that equals to nine. Okay, so even though we're using um, positive numbers, our answer is going to be positive in this case. But what happens when we have a negative number? Let's say our um, dimensions are negative 3 and negative 3. Well, we know from past prior knowledge that a negative times a negative equals a positive number. So that's another little clue that when we're working with perfect squares and square roots and um, this formula that our answer is always going to be a positive number. Now, um, you may have seen a sign that looks like this. This right here is kind of working backwards. And when we see something like this, this is called square root of 9, which is um, a thing to ask ourselves, what two numbers that are the same equal to 9? What is that number? And we know that 3 or negative 3 is that number. Okay, so when they ask you um, list all possible answers that square root of 9 equals, it's 3 or negative 3 in this case. Okay, so hopefully that helps with this aspect. Now let's go over here and let's look at perfect cubes and cube roots. Again, same concept as this but now we're adding an extra number. When we are cubing something, we are really thinking about a volume. So let's draw a cube as best as we can. There you go, this is a cube. Now, to help us, to, kind of like a hint, to help us with squ perfect squares, we think in terms of area. In perfect cubes, one hint is think in terms of volume, and that's where we get the three numbers, or three dimensions. So it's length times width times height. One, two, three. Okay, so let's use the same number, and let's see what this comes out with. So remember, we put our base, our base is a three. We're going to follow this formula here. 3 cubed equals, you write it as 3 
times 3 times 3 equals, so 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. Okay? So when we are writing it in a cube root, we're going to use a very similar symbol as the square root, but now we're going to add a 3 inside this little v here, and we're going to put 27 here. And again, square roots is kind of like working backwards from um, x or 3 cubed here. So this is cube root, this is um, 3 cubed here. So what three numbers equal, that are the same, equal to 27? What is that, nu that number repeated three times equals? So we are going to say 3. When you write this as an answer, please do not write 3 times 3 times 3 as an answer because that is not correct. Cube root of 27 equals 3. If you are writing 3 times 3 times 3, you're saying that technically that um, it's 3 times 3 times 3, 3 times 3 times 3, 3 times 3 times 3, which is not accurate. That is not a, that is not the same as this. Okay, so please, when you write the answer for a uh, cube root of a number here, make sure it's only one number and not three numbers like this. Okay, so let's say that, for example, here we have a negative base with a square root or the square. Here, if we have a negative number, then that means our answer is also going to be negative. Here is why. Negative times a negative is a positive number. But remember, we're adding a third number, so now it becomes a positive number times a negative number equals negative number. So if you see something like this on the as one of your um, equations that you have to simplify or solve for, make sure that your answer is also in the negative form. All right, so that is a basic review. Again, we're using this formula to help us solve perfect squares and this formula to solve perfect cubes. A perfect cube and a perfect square must have all dimensions or all sides the same number, as you see here. When we are squaring a, a base number, we're technically writing it three or two times and we get a positive number. If we have a perfect cube, this ex exponent allows us or communicates to us that we must write the base number that many times and we get this number here. Square root is written like this. Cube root is written with a little 3 in between the V. And as I mentioned with square roots, they're going to have two different types of answers because negative times a negative equals a positive. And of course, positive times a positive equals a positive. And this right here, we only have one solution, which is negative because if we have a negative um, cube root, it means that negative times a negative is a positive. But since we added a num another number, a negative number, it becomes a negative answer. So I hope this helps. Um, you should have taken notes on this a couple days ago, but I know some of us were absent technical problems. So I hope this helps. Obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching.